Welcome to A Fables A Day, in which the archivist reviews an issue of Fables A Day up till the final issue, where he will undoubtedly cry like a baby. And there is no restraint on spoilers, so if that's a problem for you, well then go read the series and then come back. On with the show! Fables number 133, Straight Through the Heart, Part 3 of Camelot, Where Red and White Split. Rose has an ultimatum to brandish. Either get buried for the next thousand years in concrete, or take a crap ton of binding vows and join her round table. However, Snow is all ready to fill in the hole because she's done talking. This is where Rose's embodiment of hope comes in as she argues with Snow because Brandish is the perfect case of a maggot being able to redeem himself through deeds. Snow and Rose are having a hell of a fight, stirring up all the bad that Rose has given into over the years. So that's it. If Rose goes through with this, trying to redeem Brandish, they're through as a family and she will never even get close enough to say goodbye. Snow goes back to Wolf Manor where she basically brings up how cold and hard her heart truly can be because of the life she's led, with Therese just sitting there listening to her mother rant. Osman the Green Witch interrupt the mother-daughter bonding to give Snow the news that their spell did delay the effects of her stabbing Brandish. But the fates are bitchy about the delay, so they can safely say that while they can't tell her when she'll die, they do know that she will be stabbed through the heart with a sword. And that's the end of that. Yes, Rose is the paladin of hope of redemption, and what better way to show that by endeavoring to make a restored round table that offers the amnesty of a second chance and a cool clubhouse. And it's very interesting to see that there is a new rift forming between Snow and Rose, because Rose has chosen her lifelong purpose now, and Snow's a cold hard bitch, due to her just having lost her husband and learning of Dare's death, and Winter is still in the North training, I think... Basically, Rose and Snow's roles are shifting where Snow has always been the purpose-driven woman who's been able to handle herself. Her emotions are buckling because of how hard she's been hit in recent events, while Rose is now building to reach the heights of feeling that good about herself again. It's just a great switching of the roles that has been coming along. Come back tomorrow for an interlude in heaven. Yes, I said heaven, not haven. <laughs>